first let's take the wheel off, 21 millimeter socket, remove all five of your lug nuts. And remove your wheel. I'm going to remove the top of the sway bar link first. As you can see, this one's pretty rusted. So I put some locking pliers on the back of it and I'm gonna apply some heat. Be very careful if you have to do this because you do have a gas filled strut here um, under pressure. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of heat. For me, 15 millimeter socket. For you, it might be different. Let's try and take this off. Okay, remove the uh, sway bar link. There we go. Now let's remove this ABS sensor clip here off the knuckle. And then with a 12 millimeter, there's a little bolt here that holds the brake line or brake hose and ABS wire in place. Go ahead and remove that. Okay, get those off. Then if you follow the ABS wire, you don't actually have to do this, but I prefer doing it just because it gives it more slack. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Remove that as well. And as you can see, this gives the whole wire a lot more slack for when the knuckle wants to drop down. At this point, we can remove these two bolts with a 22 millimeter socket. Okay, make sure your wires are out of the way. Hold the bolt side with a 22 millimeter in case it wants to spin and 22 socket on the nut side. Okay, that's one. I'll leave the bolt in here for now and let's remove the bottom one. Get the bottom one off. Okay, the bolts, both of them broke free. Sometimes they get stuck inside the knuckle, but these are free, so that's perfect. Pull these bolts out. And at this point, there's nothing holding the knuckle into the strut except for rust. So I'm gonna take a little pry bar and just try to pry these two apart somehow. There's a lot of junk in here. I already tried to spray it with rust penetrant to hopefully break the two of them free. Um, looks like I'll need a little bit more than just a pry bar. All right, so mine's really stuck in there, so I'm gonna take a pry bar and a hammer and basically try to pry, or uh, hammer the strut back that way, and hopefully the knuckle will wanna come down. There we go. There we go. Now it's separated. And at this point, you wanna be careful. Um, you can remove your axle nut prior to doing this, but as long as it stays like this, it's fine. You just don't want the knuckle to pull away. Let's take the three 14 millimeter nuts off the top of the strut. Keep in mind, there's nothing holding this on except for these three nuts. So I'm gonna start with these two, and then I'll leave this one for last. That's fine. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna hold the strut, have my tool ready on there because the strut will want to fall down as soon as this comes loose. Okay, with that last nut removed, you can pull the strut down and out. Here's your old strut assembly. Grab your new strut assembly and slide it up into place. Line up the three studs on the top. I have my nuts ready. I'm gonna start them on. That way I can let go of the strut. As long as you start at least one on, you can let go. But there we go, all three. I'll bring them down as far as I can. We'll come back and torque these later. You need to torque these with the weight of the vehicle on the suspension. So at the end, we'll torque these, but for now, we'll leave it like this. Bring your knuckle back over on the uh, strut. The strut is actually turned a little bit, so there we go, fix that. And I just put a little bit of anti-seize on the side of the knuckle here so that the seizing, well, doesn't happen again. At this point, bring up the strut and start in whichever bolt lines up first. For me, it happens to be the bottom. There we go. Bolts came in from the front to the back, so remember that. Let's start the top one in as well. Make sure none of your wires get pinched in here. Okay, let's drive them through with our hammer. As you hammer, make sure they actually go through. Sometimes they hit this part of the strut and actually kind of bends the metal, so just be careful when you do this. All right, let's get the nuts on. If you wanted to, you could put some thread locker on these. Let's snug them up. OK, 
Okay, now let's torque them to 156 foot-pounds. That's one, oops, let's give it back. And that's two, awesome. Let's resecure this ABS clip here and now put everything back onto the knuckle, ABS wire first, and then the brake hose, start in your 12 millimeter bolt and then we'll snug it up. Sometimes these brackets don't want to line up right off the bat, so you have to kind of wiggle them around, make sure they're still attached. Perfect, and now if you did remove this, which again, I suggest that you do, um, put this back, snug it up. Now let's get the sway bar link reconnected. Now gr grab your sway bar link, and uh, of course you want to do the same thing to the other side at this point so that you can bring both sides down, start them into your strut. There we go. Put on your nut. Let's snug it up, and then we torque this to 14 foot-pounds. Okay. Perfect. Let's get the wheel back on. Way. Start on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out. Okay, let's torque them. 76 foot pounds. Perfect. Now with the weight of the vehicle on the ground, the strut was able to push up and settle, so I'm going to torque these to 59 foot-pounds. Go around one more time. Perfect. At this point, you want to go get yourself in alignment. 